All right, y'all, so in today's video, this thing died on me already. Um, nothing crazy, but I need to swap out the spark plugs and then the spark plug wires, which are just these. Um, they look fine, but I don't know if they're the original ones or not. If they are, you know, the car's 30 years old, so definitely needs to be changed. Um, so the issue that happened with me, I'll throw in a little clip right now. Um, it's making a noise like a misfiring noise because um my assumption is one of the spark plugs is bad or multiple of them are bad um the car is leaking oil from the um, valve cover on the back um this one i believe was replaced you can kind of tell there i don't know if that's gasket maker or something else um but that one's not leaking oil but i bought the pair i don't know yet if i'm gonna do both or not since this one's not leaking oil and since this one's more easily accessible i probably won't do that one i'll just do the one that's leaking um but as you can tell the intake manifold as well as like everything else here is in the way i don't know if you guys can see there is the valve cover uh, so we need to get rid of all that first in order to get to that um, these spark plugs super easy to get to just pop out spark plug wire you can't tell but the spark plug is in there just take that out and stop it back in so this part right here it's gonna be a super quick job including the wiring um, back ones I had seen it's really easy to get to them if I didn't have to do the manifold I need to take out this hose, this hose, and then I can get my hand back here and do the three spark plugs. But since I have to do the um, the gasket for the valve cover first, um, I gotta take care of everything else on top. So once that's removed, it'll be really easy to do everything, including these. It'll be even easier to do the, the spark plugs and the cables, but just extra work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that done as you guys saw these are just like retaining clips Just take them out Just don't lose them You gotta do that for all of them. This just comes off like that Same thing back here. There's some that hold it um, Together So nothing crazy And to remove them completely you got to take off the intake But see these are now loose. I can take them off of here um, And that's gonna be a little bit more work don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I never really do, and I kind of figure it out sometimes, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just started taking off the bolts that are right there. I just took off this little, like, hose hanger thing on the side of the manifold right here. It's just this one bolt. Um, this was a 12, 12 mil. These are all on the, um, Valve covers are all 10 millimeters, and this one here was a 16, I believe. Let me double check. A 14, actually. My bad. Um, yeah, there's four all around here. Two right here, then two on the edge. I just need to take this off so I can actually reach the fourth one, which is right down there. It's enough clearance once you move this. Uh, after that, I will see which hoses I gotta take off because. I don't know yet. Um, I might not have to take off everything. I might just be able to move it, uh, but I'll see right now as I keep going. Y'all, after struggling to get this thing out, this thing has been a pain in the ass to get out, but I finally got it out. Um, so it has multiple bolts back here where you see this is at. It's attached to that. It's lifted up now. Um, it's free. So. I just need to see what else I need to disconnect before I can completely move it away. Um, obviously a few hoses and stuff, but um, just trying to see exactly what I need to move. As soon as I get that out the way, I believe I just need to get some of the harnesses out down here and it should be as easy as to take that off as it is that one. Um, this was the most difficult part, I think, or I hope it is. Um, so it shouldn't be much else. The problem was just getting that free. Um, it's like the first few bolts with nuts 
as I showed you in the front, a mix of a few in the back, um, but nothing crazy. I mean, to get that completely taken off, it's just these, which isn't a lot, but some of them are just hard to get to. Um, the hardest one to get to is probably the one on this side, right there, just because I was hitting this. Um, but that squishes in a little bit, so that's what ended up helping me being able to clear it. So that's taken off completely. I loosened up the harness. You don't really have to take it off completely. Took out the spark plug wires. I'm going to get the spark plugs out and take the valve cover off. Just need these six, three on each side, and go ahead and swap everything out. And then put this one back together and then go ahead and start doing the front one, which is an easy one. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that and see how that goes. All right, y'all, just put on the new valve cover gasket. Got it all exposed. I just swapped out these seals. And I'm gonna put this one back in real quick. Almost done. So, she get in there. Should be done today. All right, y'all, so she's put together again. Um, This was a pain in the ass, but Altogether, it wasn't that difficult. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I did run into some things that made it a little bit more like time consuming and stuff. But as you can see, everything is back together. Um, car sounds good now. Um, as I showed in the clip earlier, it was misfiring because of one of the spark plugs. Well, they were all pretty bad. Um, I don't know when the last time the guy changed them. But swap that out i swapped the valve cover gasket and also the spark plug um like the tube gaskets and i did only the back ones i didn't do the front one i was going to do the front one but since it's not leaking or anything um i decided not to do it if for whatever reason i end up having to do it it's way easier because the only thing i have to take rid of is that tube right there and then everything else here just comes off um it's a pretty easy job, like I said. Um, it's just time consuming because of all this junk that's on top. The manifold, the cold air intake, the throttle body. It's just a lot of bolts and a lot of tubes and wires. So it just takes more time. But she's all good now. So here, you guys get to hear it really quick. She old, but she starts. So yeah, that's basically it. Really different video, but she's still good. Next video I make on this car will most likely just be um, the first mod. I already kind of have like a build plan exactly of how I want to go with this. I've been looking at parts already and what I can do. Um, the only bad thing about it is that the market for these cars, they don't have a very big aftermarket um like selection i guess so it's very limited but i've been finding a few things and i have a few ideas so you guys will go ahead and see those but that'll be it for today's video if you guys stuck around and watched me fix this thing huge shout out to y'all go ahead and drop a like and you guys will see more content on the next vip build of this thing